Hi everybody, today we'll be learning about the difference between a z-test and a t-test. First, let's start by drawing a Venn diagram to compare the differences and similarities. I draw the Venn diagram center pretty large because I know that the z-test and the t-test are actually very similar. First, it is important to note what a z-test and a t-test actually are, and what they do is they compare between two means to suggest whether both samples come from the same population. Now, a z-test and a t-test are basically the same, but there are, however, variations on the theme for the t-test. If you have a sample and wish to compare it with a known mean, for example the national average, the single sample t-test is available. If both of your samples are not independent of each other and have some factor in common, i.e., geographical location or before and after treatment, the paired sample t-test can be applied. There are also two variations on the two sample t-test. The first uses samples that do not have equal variances, and the second uses samples whose variances are equal. Now that we know what a z-test and a t-test are, we can compare and contrast the differences and similarities. As you can see, the similarities far outweigh the differences between the z-test and the t-test. Here we see that, in a z-test and a t-test, both data points should be independent from each other. Uh, in addition, both should be distributed normally. Also, they should both have equal variance, uh, samples must be chosen randomly, equal chance of being selected, and sample size should be as equal as possible. The only difference between the z-test and the t-test is that in the z-test, n should be greater than 30. In conclusion, the z-test and the t-test are strikingly similar. The only time that you need to use a z-test over a t-test is when n is greater than 30, but other than that, they're essentially the same. Hopefully this video has cleared up any confusion you may have had regarding z-tests and t-tests. Thanks for watching.